Christmas comes early this year for Mining Minutes wrap-up. Chief Executive Officer and President Jorge Ganoza Fortuna Silver uh, took the time to talk to Kitco News today. Stay tuned. Joining us on the line is Jorge Ganoza. Jorge, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Alex. So, Jorge, Fortuna Silver has operations in Mexico and in Peru. Give us a small overview of uh, the two. Yes, yes. Fortuna is uh, a mining company that's been operating in both uh, Peru and Mexico uh, since uh, late 2006. Uh, in Peru, we commissioned the commercial operations uh, in southern Peru, actually, it's not in the, in the Department of Arequipa, in the southern Peruvian highlands, uh, at the Cayoma Mine. Uh, Cayoma has been operating since uh, late 2006. It started as a small uh, 500 ton per day underground mine. And uh, today it uh, operates at a uh, throughput rate of 1,300 tons per day, uh, producing about 2 million ounces of silver annually, plus uh, significant uh, base metal uh, byproducts. Uh, silver accounts for roughly 65% of sales today. And uh, in Mexico, uh, we declared uh, commercial operations at our San Jose Silver Road Mine in the state of Oaxaca in southern Mexico uh, in uh, September of 2011. So we have a little over a year since the start of commercial operations at this mine. It currently operates at a throughput of uh, 1,000 tons uh, producing about uh, 2 million ounces of silver annually for 2012, uh, plus uh, some 20,000 ounces of gold annually as well. Moving into 2013, what are Fortuna Silver's plans? Fortuna has been on a growth path uh, since uh, 2006 when we declared the, the start of our first operation, our first mining operation. We've been uh, growing production every year, every year, or uh, expanding our, our silver output. Uh, this year, we're set to produce roughly 4 million ounces of silver, plus some 20, 22,000 ounces of gold from uh, our two mining operations. Into next year, 2013, we're going to be uh, producing uh, roughly increasing production by 10 to 15 percent in silver, uh, and uh, our gold production uh, is uh, set to to increase uh, to roughly 30,000 ounces of gold in to, in 2013. So it's uh, a, a significant growth for the company uh, that we can project onward into 2014 as well, as we continue uh, with the expansion of our San Jose mine. Our Peruvian mine, uh, Cayoma, is currently operating at a, a steady state, and uh, the growth is being driven by the expansion of the San Jose mine in Mexico to a throughput of 1,500 tons per day, which is going to be materialized by mid next year. Um, so. All in all, uh, that is, uh, in terms of uh, production, uh, what uh, we expect. Fortuna acquired two early stage assets back in 2005, the Cayoma mine and an option agreement on the next uh, early stage project, San Jose. Uh, we put on our hard hats and, and uh, uh, focused uh, on, on unlocking the value of these two assets. So for the last uh, seven years, all of our work has been focused on, on, on these two assets, on optimizing them, bringing them to production, expanding them, uh, exploring around our minds. But we can say that our assets have matured. We've been successful in, taking for, in, in, in expanding the two assets, uh, the two mines. And uh, today, we're looking outward again. Uh, we have a good growth, uh, as I just explained, into 2013 and 2014. 
that comes from uh, reserves and mine plans that we are currently executing. But uh, we are at the same time now looking aggressively for uh, opportunities to acquire new projects and uh, Peru and Mexico being the two natural based places, jurisdictions for us to look. You know? uh, we opened a new position, the position in the company, the position of Vice President Corporate Development, which is not a position we had before. We started. Uh, the, the new Vice President, uh, Robert Brown, w works closely with me and the board in uh, identifying uh, and pursuing some of these opportunities. Uh, uh, I am, uh, we, are, we have a, all a lot of expectations with regard to to our M&A strategy into 2013. With the new Mexican president coming into power recently, will this affect your operations in Mexico at all? I'll go back one step and say that, uh, you know, Peru is one of the few companies in the silver space, uh, along with Pan American Silver and, and, uh, and Diagraph, uh, that has operations in, in both Peru and Mexico. This is not by coincidence that for two nights established in these two countries, it's by design. Peru and Mexico are not only two well-established mining jurisdictions, but also uh, the two largest silver producing countries in the world. So for us, it's strategic to be in Peru and Mexico, and uh, these are two countries that have uh, a long-standing mining tradition. They are, they have been, they will continue to be mining countries in essence. So. Uh, we do not uh, view uh, the current uh, BRI government uh, as, a, as a, to present a challenge to the continued development of the industry in Mexico. To the contrary, we're seeing uh, you know, clear signs that uh, this uh, new government uh, is, is making uh, important early steps to help reform education and, and, and the other key issues uh, that Mexico needs to continue uh, advancing. And finally, in line with Kitco News' Metals Outlook pieces for 2013, Jorge, we'd like to know what you think of uh, Silver's movements in the next year. You know, uh, I am I'm not a, a, a research analyst, so I, I stay away from, from giving uh, specific uh, figures for, for prices. But uh, what I can say is that we subscribe to the idea that the fundamental reasons of taking uh, precious metals, silver, uh, and gold to the current, uh, you know, historic levels uh, remain, and that uh, we are to continue to see strong fundamental reasons for investors to uh, seek in, in precious metals uh, a hedge against uncertainties of inflation and, and, and uh, economic turmoil. So uh, we believe those fundamental reasons uh, remain. Uh, and, uh, to, you know, we subscribe to the idea that we will continue to see uh, strength in, in, in precious metals moving forward. Jorge, thank you for joining me today. It's always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you, Alex. And thank you for watching this week's edition of Mining Minutes Wrap-Up. If you have any questions or comments, please send them to newsfeedback at kitco.com. And now we'll leave you with this week's Movers and Shakers. <laughs>